Here we are in the Raton Clayton Volcanic Field of New Mexico. Volcanic activity began about 9 million years ago with the most recent eruptions about 32,000 years ago. And over the course of that volcanic activity, over a hundred different vents erupted in this area. Now behind me is one of the most famous of those. That is Capulin, or some folks call it Capulin. Now Capulin, the name of this comes from the choke cherries that grow on the side of that cinder cone. So that cinder cone erupted about 56,000 years ago. And uh, when a cinder cone erupts, you have lava rising to the surface and it's basalt and it's got some gas in it, which gives it some energy. And so the lava kind of shoots out and creates this explosion of lava. And then these bits land on around the vent and build up the cinder cone that you see. And this can continue for weeks to even years of activity. And then towards the end of the volcanic activity, when there's not as many gases coming out of that magma, well, then the eruption kind of calms down. And in this case, it, can, it, it concluded with a lava flow that came out of the side of the cinder cone over there, an area we call the boca, which means mouth in Spanish. And the lava just flowed out of the boca and covered an area. Now, that's from uh, Capolin there. This volcanic field has so many neat things to see. And if you drive to the top of Capolin Volcano, you will see many of the different volcanic features of this volcanic field. Off to that direction, there is Sierra Grande, which is a shield volcano. Now, shield volcanoes usually erupt basalt, but in the case of Sierra Grande, it was andesite that came out of that volcano. And even more than that, if you're into geology, it's a special kind of andesite uh, that has two types of pyroxenes in it, orthopyroxene and clinopyroxene. And yeah, that's kind of cool geologically. And from the top of Capolin, you can see that, you can see some of the other vents, and you can see many, many lava flows. And these lava flows are just old enough that they start showing in inverted topography. Inverted topography means that the shape of the land surface has reversed. Those lava flows, when they were erupted, were liquid. And so they flowed into valleys, into the low areas. They solidified and they became really hard and resistant to weathering and erosion. Then the rocks that are easier to weather and erode around them get washed away, leaving the lava flows elevated around the rest of the valley here. And that's what's inverted about them. Originally, they flowed into a valley, but now they're forming the tops of many of the mesas that you see around here. So hopefully, if you get to this area, you're going to be here on a much nicer day than today, which is like 38 degrees and foggy and cloudy and windy. I hope you come here on a great day, can go to the top of Capulin and see all the beautiful volcanic landforms of the, of the Raton Clayton Volcanic Field.